Hi everyone, Mr. Brant's back again, um, back with your virtual art lesson for third and fourth grade. Um, today we're going to talk a lot about shapes uh, and some certain types of colors. For our assignment today, you're going to need a piece of paper, any kind you have, um, probably like a typing paper size, 8 and a half by 11. Um, you'll also need, if you have, a couple markers, black markers to start. Uh, we'll need other things, but I'll tell you about those later. But black markers, if you have a thick one and a thin one, that's great. If you don't have a thick and thin, that's okay if you just have one. Um, Sharpies work really good. If you have a thick and a thin one, you can use that. But if you just have one, that's okay. And if you don't have any black markers or pens, use a black crayon or even a pencil or whatever you have to use. Okay? Now, we're going to start by talking about shapes. And the first thing we're going to do, if you take a look, and I'm sorry I won't be looking at you, I'll be looking at the screen. Um, if you take a look, shapes are two-dimensional. That means they have height and length, and they have width, but they don't have depth. They're not 3D. They're not like a form is, where you see a 3D cube or something like that. Shapes are totally flat, okay? And there are different types of shapes. Shapes come in geometric style of shape, um, things like a circle or a square or an oval. And then they also come in organic, or in another word, they call them freeform. And those are things made in nature. Um, some of them look like blobs. They could be like a leaf, things that are made that aren't man-made, like the geometric ones. Uh, if you look at the screen, you'll see some organic ones down in the lower left-hand corner. And then you'll see some more geometric shapes. And you're going to need to use some of those in your project today. And then for color, what we're going to do is use the warm and cool colors. The warm colors are the yellows and the oranges and the reds. Thing that, you know, colors that make us think of warmth and sunlight. Uh, they make us feel like toasty and warm. And, and I get kind of happy when I see those. And then we're going to use the cool colors too, like blues, greens, and purples. Uh, we're going to use those are things like winter skies and lakes, um, things that make us feel a little chilly or even calmer uh, with the cool colors. And that might, you know, the way you feel looking at warm and cool might be totally different than what I feel, which is perfectly fine. So we'll be using warm and cool colors uh, in our project. So remember, we're going to look at shapes, geometric and orga uh, organic. And then we're also going to use warm and cool colors, okay? So, if you guys are ready, I'm ready, let's start our drawing. All right, so I just want to make sure I got everything set up here where I want it. So I'm looking over at my computer, all right? We're going to start off today with our two pens. And we're going to travel, kind of like uh, the last time we did some things with lines. But we're going to use the thin pen, if you have a thin pen. And we're going to travel with it. And we're just going to make some, and sometimes you'll say, well, Mr. Grant, why are we scribbling? We're not scribbling. We're going to do it in a, a meaningful way. So I want to take my thin pen, and I'm going to start. You can start by going up and down. You can go diagonal, cross, whatever. I like to start kind of diagonal here on my paper, and what's going to happen is I'm just going to go wherever I want, back and forth. So I'm going one way, another. I don't want to be too far away. I want them close. So I'm going to go just, I'm just traveling around, okay? So I'm traveling back and forth, all one continuous line. And I might decide I want to do some zigzags. I just love this traveling line. It's kind of like our shapes being a free form. We're just letting this thing go wherever my pen decides to go. And it might go way over there. It might come back. But I don't want to be way out here away from it. I want to keep that. And I'm going to go back in here. I want to keep it close together, but not overlapping or touching. I'm just going back and forth with my lines. You can see back and forth. 
Take your time, have some fun with just kind of letting it go free. I just want it to go wherever that line feels like going, whatever is going on with that, okay? And it might take a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit to go, but you can see and you could be drawing while I'm drawing and it's just traveling back and forth. And you can see, I could go up and down, I can go across, whatever you feel happier doing, okay? It is totally up to you. So I'm gonna go all the way, and now I'm gonna kinda get a little, I'm just going to, it's almost like one continuous scribble line. If I was running this, I'd be really tired by now. So I'm just going to go all the way back and forth, zigzagging, wiggling. If you want to be a little more, you could do some steps, whatever. Whew, my hand's getting tired. If you have to stop and pause and rest your hand a second, I'm going to push through and get it all the way done there. Whew, that was a lot of work. Um, now I've got it. If you take a look, I've gone diagonal and I go and it just makes a beautiful line design. All right, that's step one. Step two now, and if you look over to the left of the screen, you'll see I still put those shapes and colors and things there. Because now, and if you want to do it with a pencil first, I would suggest this, but I'm gonna go in and you have to draw at least two geometric. So two geometric, there's my two. Two geometric and two organic shapes. And so I'm going to start here. Maybe I just want to do a square. So I'm going to do a big square like this. And if I like my square, then I'm going to take my thick pen and I'm going to outline it. And why I want the thick and thin pen is because you can see it pretty clear then. Okay, you can see how that looks pretty clear with that. Now, I want to draw a organic shape. Now, you can do way more than four shapes, but I just want you to at least do four. And if you do four, do them big. You can overlap. So let's say I'm going to do a free form. So I'm just going to do a blob. But I want to overlap like that. So I started right here, went around, stopped there. I like it. So now I'm going to take my thick Sharpie, and I'm going to outline it, and if I don't get right on the pencil line, just take your eraser, okay? Now, I have to do at least two more. So maybe I decide I'm gonna do a rectangle. Now, if you feel comfortable, you don't have to draw it with pencil first. You can just draw it with Sharpie, and that's okay. Live with what you get, that's all right. And maybe I'm gonna do another free form, or I maybe wanna do something that kinda looks like a leaf, of some kind or a free form shape. Maybe down here I want to do more, maybe an oval, and then maybe another little free form shape like that. So I've kind of balanced my paper. I don't have them all on one side, I don't have them all at the top or the bottom. And now I have my paper ready to put color in. And remember, we talked about the warm and cool colors. What I want you to do is pick out which shapes are going to be warm and which shapes are going to be cool. And you can use markers. Markers are a great thing. If you want to do your three purple, blue, and green markers for one of the shapes, for the cool colors, you can do the warm colors in markers for another shape. You can use colored pencils to color that in, warm and cool. Um, you can use watercolor paints if you have watercolor paints. Um, totally up to you which way you want and what materials you want to color, as long as you're doing warm and cool colors, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you one that I finished, and this is kind of what we're looking for, okay? So if you take a look, here I did a color pencil, and you can see I did some shading with it, with the warm colors. Um, here, I did markers in these. I even did some watercolor paint um, so I went in and watercolor painted this one and watercolor painted this one with some marker lines on it um, just to be creative. Another color pencil and crayon. I did some with crayon. Um, it's your choice. 
but you can see how beautiful those come out. So we've done some geometric shapes, we've done some free form or organic shapes, and we used warm and cool colors. And so I hope you really enjoyed this lesson. Um, love to see if you want to uh, send to your teacher or to me uh, what you did. That's awesome. Um, I'm at mbrandt at linmar.k12.ia.us. And if you want, you can send it. You don't have to. I just hope you enjoy the lesson on shapes and warm and cool colors. And until you see me again, remember, art is essential and have an outstanding day.